Oh boy, does this video need a preview. We're going to start with the reformulation of the Mac Studio Fix Foundation. Trying that on and wear testing it. Then we're going to dive right into the RMS Hydro Powder Bronzer that everyone's talking about. The new Fenty Demi Glow Baked Highlighter. Followed by the Give Dewy Plump Collagen Boosting Cheek Tint and Lip Gel. And last but not least, the brand new Victoria Beckham Beauty Satin Kajal Liner in the Matte Seafoam Shade. Hello, print sesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we have what you saw in the preview. You know, I had to do a preview on this one because we have six different products to look at. Look, let me just tell you what's happening here. I I'm, I'm thrilled to have you here. Don't forget that you can also follow me, you know, over on Instagram, TikTok, and on threads. But let me just tell you, I have had such a pile up of new products and I'm trying to be, you know, considerate and thoughtful in how I editorialize them together in each video, but I'm not getting through them fast enough. I mean, we got a Sephora sale going on if you're in North America, and we have a lot of products here that as they sit, you know, some of them have been sitting what, uh, over two weeks, which in the quick changing fashion and beauty industry and seasonal industry, I mean, that's like old product by now. I gotta get these talked about. So we're gonna just whip through a bunch of the new products that you saw previewed at the beginning here. And what I'm gonna do to make it a little bit more interesting is I am going to tell you all the information and demo that each product at the same time rather than dividing it up. But if you are super, super busy and you need to get to one product quicker than another, please make use of the very detailed timestamps that I've got either down below, printed in the description bar, or you can run them across the screen here, and I'll have all of that information for you. I do wanna do a uh, swatch in the California sunshine. You know, last video we were so busy, or two videos ago, I actually forgot. My staff, <clears throat> oh, they're not there, they were all fired. My staff did not remind me, thus me firing them yet again. I cannot keep a good staff here. So let's look at the swatches all together and then I'll swatch them individually as we apply them, okay? But just all together in the California sunshine, we have the RMS Hydra Powder Bronzer in the shade Tan Lines, which is what I picked up, the Fenty Demi Glow Baked Highlighter in Yum Rum, the Give Dewy Plump Collagen Boosting Cheek Tint in Bouquet, the Dewy Plump Collagen Lip Gel in Nightshade, and of course, all the way by my wrist is the Victoria Beckham Beauty Satin Kajal Liner in Matte Seafoam. And you are seeing all of those on my face now. But as we go to the demo, I will individually swatch them, talk about the products, the prices, the packaging, all of that stuff as we try them all on together. Now down below, I have them all linked so you can you know, do a little shopping. The Sephora sale is still on. I would appreciate that because it does help the channel and doesn't cost you a penny. But there's also things like Super Thanks down there, which I greatly appreciate. And of course, our $4.99 a month membership where you are welcome to come to membership lives every week. We have membership giveaways, all sorts of fun stuff. And the lives are all down in there so you can see them, you know, the past lives. We have a lot of fun. So I would love for you to partake in that. And of course, please subscribe as it really helps me get my channel's name out there and us to keep growing, yay. Uh, so now without further ado, whatever ado means. <coughs> ado, a noun meaning a fuss, trouble, or excitement. All right, thank you. So without further ado, let's get on to the demos and the information. Okay, nothing on my face, but some morning skincare that has sunken in over an hour ago. No primer, no concealer. We, I, I just wanna see what this is gonna do on its own. Okay, normally, of course, you know, I would powder under the eye, add concealer, maybe a setting spray, um, you know, primer. Let's just use this as it is, okay? Now, what they have done, if this is your favorite, you might be a little bit nervous. So let's try it and let's do a wear test. I, I can't go 24 hours, but I will, I'll try to go 12. 
Okay, it's early in the morning, so let's let's see how we do here, okay? So we have our 24-hour mat. They've added a pump, uh, so there you go. Uh, the pump looks like, you know, um, all the newer MAC foundations are like this, you know, but we used to see this in there. This is not a new mechanism for MAC, right? Okay, so we got the added pump, and it's now in 67 shades. I tried shade N5. It looks like it's going to be, excuse me, looks like it's going to be a little bit light. That's okay. We'll just bronze it a lot. I, yeah, it's a little light. Okay, bear with me, bear with me. Burst of fragrance. Hmm. You know I'm not an ingredient junkie, you guys. I will tell you that something has fragrance simply by using my sniffer. And sometimes, like in the case of Kosas, then I'll hear they're, they're not actually putting fragrance in the ingredients. Um, and other times, you know, there's a fragrance in the ingredients and I don't smell it. I am not actually getting that into the details of that on this channel. I'm just telling you, I do scent, sense a burst of fragrance. It's dissipated, but I definitely sensed it. Let's just put it on one side of the face. And I have about two nice pumps here, a pump and a half maybe. Okay, we have all these skincare ingredients in this. It is supposed to be long wearing, <laughs> 24 hours is pretty long wearing. And uh, SPF 15, which, you know, SPF is a great thickening agent. They use a combination of mineral and chemical sunscreen as they do in most, um, you know, complexion products with SPF. Eh, it's a good thickening agent, but if you go through a little added stuff with the FDA, then you can have it also be declared uh, an SPF product for sun care. But I gotta say it. I'm honestly a broken record. SPF 15, wow, to get all 15, you would have to load this stuff on. And so you won't. So yeah, but it's a little added protection. Okay. Some of us, like moi, feel that, you know, if you uh, let it sit long enough, it'll change properties and break out. But I don't know. That happened with one or two products, and I've decided that's the rule. Maybe it isn't. Okay, so we got one half of the face done, um, and I did shake it well. You do need to shake it well. Now, it's a soft matte finish now, a little bit softer than the previous, supposedly, and it's going to control oil, which I don't have, uh, waterproof. So what do you think? No, I mean, actually, now that the shade is sitting, I'm not really saying it's oxidizing, but I'm not seeing as huge of a difference. How about you guys? I'm not really seeing as huge of a difference. Again, this is N5 but it's sitting very nicely. MAC has always done a good complexion product. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is let's uh, get another, I've always found this mechanism that they use slightly confusing, perhaps that's just me. Another pump and a half here, and I'll do the other side of my face and speed it up, and then we'll come back and chat about it. All right, stay right there. Okay, so now we are all evened out. Still looks a little bit uneven, doesn't it? Okay, well, you know what? That's interesting. That's interesting. I just said to you, oh, it just looks still a little uneven, doesn't it? And I realized that's because this side has been sitting longer and perhaps it has kind of quickly settled and oxidized a teeny bit. So hopefully as I go here, I'm gonna look more. That is interesting, actually. Okay, so we're gonna see how long I can push this. Right now, what I'd like to do is I wanna go off and do my eyebrows, maybe add some mascara. Let's get ready uh, for the other products that we're gonna add in. What I'll do is intentionally wait an hour or two so that we can kind of have a midway check-in on the wear test. And then we'll talk about each next product as we apply it. Oh, we are so, so busy. But it's actually very early in the morning here. Um, as you can tell, that horrible construction that's going on outside my house hasn't even started yet. So it's really early. Um, that's why you don't hear any noise. Um, and uh, let me let it go a little bit, and then we'll come back. All right, stay right there. Okay, I did my brows, and I added in some, you know, mascara and a little bit of eyeliner. But I also made good on my promise, and I've waited two hours to come back to film, just so we can kind of use this as a very early mid-place wear test. You know, I kind of laughed to myself, good old Mac Studio Fix. I mean, it's 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 still Studio Fix. Um, it's matte. It's kind of one with my skin. It's not transferring. It's like a second skin. It's on there. I could go swimming, come on up, and, you know, I'd probably have mascara all over the place, but my foundation would be fine. I'm slightly I'm using hyperbole, but maybe not so much. You know, we know, those of us that have been around makeup and, you know, 
interested in the makeup industry for a long time. You know MAC Studio Fix, be it the powder, the liquid, it's behaving the same way. I kind of laughed. I was like, oh, hello, old friend. You know, it's been a while, right? So um, yeah, it's behaving that way. Yeah, this is a reliable workhorse. It's like a tank, you know? It just, it's gonna go and go and go. So, you know, good stuff so far. At two hours, you know, for me, even a 24 hour foundation would start to cause some trouble already. And already at two hours, I mean, this is just part of my face. My pores are blurred. I mean, this is like, this is going to be, you know, it's not sinking into any lines. This is like your Estee Lauder double wear. You know, the only thing I can compare it to is the MAC Studio Fix. So far, it seems the same. More colors, more skincare. I, I don't think it's going to be a problem if you've loved it in the past. And look at that shade. Now it's working. It looks like I did order the right one. Uh, it hasn't deepened, okay? When you saw, I don't know if you caught that, but when I did one side, waited a minute, did the other, there was a slight shade difference. And now, of course, there isn't. I have nothing on over it. We're going to do all that together. Um, but it didn't continue to deepen. Um, and of course, we'll see, because I'm going to try to let this go 12 hours if I can, or certainly around that. Okay, we got a lot of other products here. Um, let's go ahead and go to our bronzer now. Let's go ahead and bronze. Um, I do not contour. You guys know this about me. I just kind of brontour. I just, you know, warm up the edges of the face with it, which is fine because this is a bronzer. It's not a bronzer contour. And it's a little bit glowy, supposedly. $49 um, on QVC. I got it with the brush. Um, I actually didn't bring the brush over. I have a Sonia G brush here. I just forgot it. That's okay. Um, I got the shade Tan Lines, but there's three shades. It's a gel to powder, bronzer. We all in the makeup industry fell in love with the RMS blush when that come, came out. This, by the way, is refillable. Um, and it's this is the shade Tan Lines, which looks like it's a bit too deep for me. You saw the swatch at the beginning, but there it is, just kind of blended in a little bit. Not too bad, right? I always go for too dark of a bronzer. Don't, can't stop me, but it feels nice. It's got a nice gel-like texture. It is a powder. It doesn't have any sort of a cream feeling to it. It's a powder, but it's got a nice gel-like texture. So let's just warm up the face. Let me do this side of the face. And supposedly, oh, that's not too bad of a shade for me. I'm going onto the cheek a little bit. It's very haphazard, okay? Um, supposedly this has a little bit of a luminosity to it, which should really stand out over this really matte, foundation, is it? I don't think so. I mean, I think I'm looking all warmed up and I think it's pretty, especially over. I'm really saturating the brush. I probably could have gone darker on this, um, but I like that because it's foolproof, you know, <laughs> me being the fool. Um, I, I kind of like that over a uh, matte, you know, because I like to, first of all, I like to go to town with it. And second of all, I like lumin luminous products with matte products. I think it just brings them to life a little bit more. Okay, so yeah, actually what that did was, I'm seeing it on the forehead, it warmed up the face and also added a little bit more life and movement to it. I like that combination of luminous and matte. A uh, pretty bronzer. Everyone's talking to me about it. Uh, you know, the, with the Sephora sale, YSL is like my pick for matte, and this would definitely be my pick for something a little bit luminous. MAC has a luminous bronzer that I really like, but I think I like this better. This is really pretty. I mean, it's just really part of my face. I will say, though, that things go over this really matte finish on the MAC really nicely. I will say that. All right, let's talk about this Fenty, okay? We're going to highlight. I know we haven't blushed yet, but I, I want to get into this Fenty. This is an interesting product, okay? And it's got a really pretty little case. So did the RMS. The RMS case is just like the, the blush, you know? This is a really pretty little case. So this is the Fenty Demi Glow Baked Highlighter. I got the shade 5 Yum Rum. I don't know why my voice is breaking up, you guys. I'm not sick or anything. I've just been working silently. You know, sometimes you go to talk and it just doesn't want to talk. Um, this comes in eight shades, very inclusive shade range for highlighters. This is actually a skin tone based highlighter. And again, you did see um, the swatches at the beginning, but I'll just kind of show it to you here. It's really pretty. I don't know what skin tone one to go with. It's supposed to be a low key glow, which always attracts me, but no grit. So, you know, no gritty 
diamondy flakes or sparkles. Um, and it won't disturb makeup, which I can tell it's a really smooth, soft when you go over the top. So it's a skin tone based highlighter. I got the shade five, probably again, went a little too dark. What are you gonna do? But I actually think it's nice with the um, bronzer. They're both on my hand there. And I just think, as you can see, they work really nicely together. So I have a little Sonia G brush here. So far we've been using a lot of Sonia G. And let's just see if this is too dark or not. No, see, I think that's really pretty. I like a little bit of a darker blush, but the, um, highlighter, excuse me, but this goes a little bit kind of golden. I was gonna say blonde, but kind of golden. By the way, I do have, if you're looking at my um, complexion and thinking it's a little unfinished, probably because I, I could use some concealer, but we're not covering concealer in this video and I didn't want it to confuse things. So that is why, you know, I have some blemishes that are showing. The Mac is like, don't blame me. That lady needs concealer. We won't blame you, Mac. Okay. What do you think? That's really pretty. I like the idea. You know, Fenty, when they when Fenty is good, they're really good. When Fenty is bad, they're not memorable. So they're never horrible. But when they're good, they really come up with some interesting concepts. And a skin tone base, low-key, kind of low-key glow highlighter is kind of a great idea. I, I, I guess we could say that others have done it, but not really. Usually they're champagne or they're golden or they're, you know, white diamond or something really. So this is a really, I mean, maybe it's just a remarketing of a traditional concept, but I, I'm, I think it's really interesting. And I know a lot of people wanted to try it. It's been sitting here. What do you think of it on? Definitely low key glow. Hey, that's super pretty. I'm glad we tried that. Okay, let's move along, shall we, to these two Give products, and then we'll get to our Victoria Beckham, which I'm really excited about. Uh, stupidly, I ordered my two Give products separately. So our colors are not really complimentary, except for the lip shade goes a little pinky purple. <laughs> so I might look a little mismatched. But again, um, you guys know, I mean, I'm a fashion and beauty editor, a writer. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm testing out these products to see how they work. Uh, the artistry is up to you. So I, these, these shades might not be the best together, but let's, let's just try it. Okay, so this will start with the Dewy Plump Collagen Boosting Cheek Tint. I got the shade Bouquet. It's this pink shade, which you saw in the larger swatch. This is a medium coverage, a medium coverage radiant uh, blush. $26, comes in six shades, $26 as I said. There it is. All right, let's put a few dots. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't have more than one. If I had more than one uh, shade in these, you guys, we'd be here forever, honestly. And I am trying to speed this up, but nobody got time for that much blush, right? Okay, this is a Merit foundation brush, but I think it works really nicely. Let me just put that on there. Yes, I already highlighted. Yes, that might have been the wrong order, I don't care. Because I'm looking at the products individually, you guys. I really am. I mean, if it makes a cohesive, nice look, fantastic, right? That should be the goal, but, you know. That's pretty, isn't it? Should I do a little more so we can see it a little better? It blends really nicely. And it does not disturb the product. It even doesn't disturb the highlighter. Uh, okay, so there's two brands that I often say are maligned. They're not given enough credit. One of them is Patrick Star One Size which I have his new Wicked palette over there. Um, I guess I'll probably have in the video tomorrow. And the other one is Gwen Stefani's Give. Um, I, I don't know why it's maligned. I mean, you know, the, maybe there's reasons people don't like her or whatever. I'm not getting into that, um, please. But uh, not that I don't care. It's just not what I cover. But um, I, I mean, the, the products are really good. They're, they're really good. Honestly, they are. And they're affordable too. And they're packaged kind of cutely. And they're, they're youthful. So you'd think they'd be for kind of like teenagers, but Gwen Stefani herself is a woman in her 50s, may I remind you. She's always, she has some sort of fountain of youth in her basement or something, but um, she herself is in her 50s. Okay, I put on some extra product to try to even it out right away. That's a darn pretty little blush. And for 26 bucks, not on sale if you're using the Sephora sale, well, let me tell you, impressed am I. That's pretty good, huh? And that MAC foundation is acting like cement under all this, which sounds like a negative thing, but it's not. I mean, this MAC foundation is doing really well. 
MAC is such a professional makeup artist brand that they made this, you know, to be able to be bulletproof when you're putting makeup over the top, and it most certainly is. Okay, let's look at the Dewy Plump Collagen Lip Gel, also from Give. This is the um, night shade. It doesn't go with the blush, just pretend it does. It's a non-sticky gel, comes in six shades, is $24 when not on sale. Uh, it doesn't have any plumping, supposedly, so we'll, a lot of you ask me about that. I'm not the only one who goes, ah! It's got that give scent. There's a scent to give products that's like sugar and baby powder mixed, which sounds disgusting, but it actually is quite pleasant. I don't have lip liner or anything on. Let's just give this a try. We are coming off, oh, I have brush hairs on me. We are coming off a terrible incident with the new Jisoo lip oils, where as I talked, they migrated to the corners of, yuck. So now I am side eyeing every new lip oil. And I do have a lip oil video coming up where I am somehow going to take myself out from being buried under a whole slew of them and figure out what are the best ones. Let me give you a swatch of this. Again, you saw it in the beginning, but let's just, it's not too bad with the blush. It's kind of a pinky lilac. I think I'm, I got a rainbow of shades going on here. So I keep apologizing, it's okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, actually, you know what? Look at that foundation underneath. Look at that solid, complexion underneath and I'm going to watch this and see if it goes into the corners because that's like my new bugaboo now right let's see nice nice so far so good should we get to the Victoria Beckham Beauty product we have a new satin kajal liner this is a matte seafoam pastel green this is how much is this I'll put it down below I can't remember right now uh, it used to be that you could pay a little less and not get the sharpener or pay a little more and get the sharpener. Now, whether you opt for the sharpener or not, it's the same price, so get the sharpener. If you're like me, you can never find them, right? Lovely little sponge on one side. You know how these are, they're so lovely. I don't even have to have a brush over here. And this factory sharpened point, ooh la la. Let me show you what it looks like here, though we did see a swatch at the beginning. I have trouble with these kind of bright colors. Uh, was it last summer or last spring, Victoria Beckham did these really bright, bold ones. And then just recently she did like a robin's egg blue and I was like, no, please, no. Um, I, I couldn't do it. But this is, you know, this is the kind of subtle, more matte pastel that I think I can make my speed. Now, the great thing about this is you can put it in your waterline, which we'll do. You can put it on the eye and just line with it. But you can also use our little spongy sponge here and smoosh it in to make kind of a really nice full eye look, which is what we are going to do. Okay, so I am going to just start. There's no liner here. I do have some mascara on. I am going to start here by making a super duper messy line that got into the, oh, that's kind of cute, look, that got kind of into the lash line. I didn't mean to, that was a mistake. Don't do that at home. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Okay, and it kind of, oh, that kind of blends away. It's very kind of white base shade, but I'm okay with it. So let's do a little bit more. I'll do the other eye quicker so you don't have to sit through it. I do not advise doing uh, this and then moving to the side because this does set. There's a nice amount of playtime, but it will set. So basically, I'm just kind of doing the whole eye. Uh, and I, I just do it messy because, oh, I love the way this is blending out. <gasps> Ooh, you guys, this is pretty. I didn't think I'd like it. I was telling Veronica... Veronica over in our community asked me if I was getting it and I said, yeah, I just don't think I'll like it though. I think I'm just going to review it. Oh, Veronica, I was wrong. I really like it. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Didn't think I'd like it this much, you guys. Sometimes I surprise myself. I wouldn't have ordered it for me. But when I do, I'm like, oh, I like it. Looking to see. Oh, it's really a little I think. I think that's gathering a little bit on the side. We'll see. I'll keep a watch on it. Okay. Maybe it's me. All right, I'm going under the eye here. And then I actually like this shade when it's kind of blended out. I like the way it kind of mutes itself. So I could leave it just kind of as it is um, on the eye and that's pretty, but I'm really kind of loving it sheared out. It's kind of almost has a bit of like a cool gray to it. It's very kind of like subtle Cleopatra. That's what I'm gonna call it. 
Okay, let me do the other eye. I'll, I'll speed it up. Okay. Okay, and that is without any of it. I put some brown in the waterline because I forgot. <laughs> Let me see though if I put some of this over. It's pretty, you guys. This is a really, this is a winner. Very unique. Very, very, very unique. Very pretty. Winner shade. Winner shade. But pretty as a liner too. Um, different and interesting and not too loud. I mean, I think it actually, and this look is kind of actually working together, this kind of seafoam, slightly pastel with this kind of lilac lip. I really thought it was going to be just garish together, but it's pretty good. I'm trying to figure out if this is migrating to the corners because like I said, that's my new thing. Uh, no, I guess it isn't but I'm going to keep wearing it because we're going to find out. Okay, the next check-in, you're going to see me. I'm going to try to get to 12 hours. Obviously, I'll have to reapply the lip gloss, but I'll reapply the lip gloss like uh, 40 minutes or so before, and I'll try to like make some phone calls or something so we can see if it moves towards the corners of the lips, okay? I'll wait for the check-in. Okay, we're just darn near 12. It's like 11 and a half hours. I lied, but I tried. I did pretty good. I did also put back on the Give Dewy Plump Lip Gel about mm, 35 minutes ago, and I've been talking. It kind of wants to go into the corners a little bit, but I think I'm just very, like, ready for it. Like, bring it! You know what I mean? Because after that Jisoo disaster, and it's such a drag because I love that product, that red kind of strawberry sorbet shade. It was so pretty, but it, it just made this, like, gummy mess. Ooh! Okay, anyway. All right, so let's talk about it. That This lasts on its own maybe an hour or two if you eat less than that, but it leaves a nice feel. I mean, it's just a, it's just a fun lip oil. It's not gonna be my favorite. It's good, it's nice, but you know. But let me tell you, I am impressed with these Dewy Plump Collagen Boosting Cheek Tint. This is remaining pretty good. I mean, I put on a ton <clears throat> so you guys could really see it. I put on a ton of it, and maybe that's why it's lasting, but it's actually quite pretty, hasn't lifted anything underneath it. I mean, I actually think it's really, really nice. The Victoria Beckham Beauty Satin Kajal Liner in this matte sea foam um, has been absolutely gorgeous and has stood the test. I've never had trouble with this bu budging. It's doing well, it's doing well in the lash line. It looks like a really good one. It's gonna have, it's gonna last really long. It would be really pretty with some highlighter over it, even the Fenty highlighter, um, you know, just in the inner corners or in the middle or something if you want. But it's a really pretty way to do color without having something outrageously colorful. Very good there, very, very good on this, um, cheek tint, but whatever on the lip tint, that's that's nothing. It's not that exciting, the lip tint. But the um, Victoria Beckham Beauty Satin Kajal Liner in that matte sea foam and the Dewy Plump Collagen Boosting Cheek Tint, very, very pretty. The Fenty, this is a winner for Fenty. I think it's a really cute idea. It is indeed that kind of low key shine. It has lasted, I think, very nicely. Super pretty, highly recommend this if you're shopping the sale too, which is why I wanted to get this in. Is the RMS, I gotta check, I'll put it up here. I don't think the RMS bronzer is on Sephora yet. I did get mine on QVC, I'll link it below. It's a really pretty one. If you are looking for a slightly glowy, it's not crazy glowy, it's not like the blush. But if you're looking for a slightly luminous bronzer, I think it's a really pretty one, I really do. And the MAC Studio Fix is like a truck, it's like a long distance, truck. We're at almost 12 hours. Okay, not quite. And, um, you know, it's like I just put it on. Or like it's not even there. You know, I could use, I could have built it up. I have this area that's all broken out. Super goop. Um, but, you know, so I could have maybe built it up there a little bit. And I certainly normally would use a concealer. But this is, I mean, this is just Bam, it's ready to go. And it did deepen a bit. What you're seeing now is not the product. This is just because I bronzed around it. Oh, it's so hard, you know. I was like, I, I wanted to do this when I didn't do a bronzer. But at some point, I have to put some of these in a video together, you guys, or we just don't get through them. You know? I, 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 I. So 
you know, that, that that you see the warmth is mostly the bronzer, to be honest. But it did change a little bit. It kind of went a little half shade deeper, didn't it? When I first put it on, it's not budging. I feel like I could just kind of, you know, I could go through, I could sleep in this, get up in the morning, <laughs> put, a, put a comb through my hair and be ready to go. I honestly could. It's fantastic. Uh, if you're a Studio Fix devotee, which I am not, I admit, obviously I have experience with it, but if you're, if it's your ride or die, let us know below what you think of the reformulation because I'm sure you've tried it with trepidation and I would frankly love to know. But let me tell you, all good stuff here. I mean, even this lip oil, which is not gonna, it is, I'm telling you, they're still working out there. It is, it is scooping up a little bit on the side. Yeah, so I'm gonna go, eh, yeah, there's better lip oils out there, a lot better. You can see my Sephora recommendation video. The lip oil is the only one that I'm like, whatever, you know, I'll give this to one of my children. Here, take it, little treat, off with you now. Um, don't take the cheek, mommy will save that. But you know what I'm saying, they, they think they've gotten something good and I'm just giving them that. Um, but everything else is really a winner. And I, I say have no fear. If you're a devotee of this MAC and you're kind of looking at me from like be like this, if you're watching this video like this because of the MAC foundation, I think it's safe. I honestly think it's just a really, really pretty product. So, you know, sound off below if you would. I mean, this is what makes us a community and I'm interested in everything you guys have to say. Make sure that you share and like and of course subscribe. And we got a few more of these videos coming up because there's so many new releases. I got to shove them in together. So I appreciate your patience as we go through it all. And I will see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.